Hey, what's up, dudes? It's Mac the Snapper, and today sucked. Not only was it Monday 2.0, but I spent the majority of the day trying to clean all the goy slop out of the red pill mud puddle I call a pond. But now I have emerged, yep. Made my way out of the whiskey-mixed water, across the beach, dry and crusty like an average western woman, and up to the sidewalk to bite the ankles of Simpson Cucks, but also to roast some thoughts. And today's thought, I think, is this, whoever wrote this uh, Reddit article on r slash dating advice. And let's just jump right into this. I'm gonna, def- if I seem like I'm like uh, drifting off and like I'm become like uninterested, it's be- it's because I am, it's because I am. As soon as I tell a guy about my work and hobbies, I don't get another date. Is my job that off-putting, or is it just me? Lol. Hmm, yep. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I've, 27 female, (laughs) old. I've been having a hard time dating, and I could honestly use some advice on how to approach it better. I've had really bad experiences with older men when I was younger. So right now, I only want to date guys my age, but it's been tough. Uh, yeah, you're, oh, you, I'm, I'm about this age, and I will, I would never date a chick this old. T- 25 is my cutoff, 18 to 25, perfect age. But age, 25 is my, my firm, hard cutoff, like I, I won't even care if they're even 26. Nope, not interested, I want 10 kids in the future, so I need... Healthy and fertile. It always feels like I have a great first date or a first few, but get the we just don't seem compatible or other stuff that feels like a gentle letdown after a few. Hmm, sad story, bro. Tell it again. The stuff that I think works well for me is that I'm pretty fun and bubbly and outgoing person. I honestly have fun on dates, but have been told I put people at ease or I'm easy to talk to. Hmm, okay then. Well, I mean, I don't understand what your problem is then if you're... I mean, people lie though, so... Sorry, Jake. Why the hell is she starting with a but? Excuse me. But once I start sharing more about myself, it seems like I put people off. Or get told I'm not what they expected. Like, for some context, I think I come off as pretty chill and easygoing per- in person, but I don't talk about work off the clock because my job is wrapped in NDAs on NDAs. As a rule, I don't think about work outside the office. Hmm, okay, I mean, I don't, well, don't bring your job up. I mean, I guess it eventually has to come up. But, Oh, let's continue reading. Again, but I am honestly pretty ambitious when I'm at work. I studied engineering. That's what I do. I hate working with chicks in engineering. And now I'm a technical program manager at an engineering firm. Uh, Good. As long as she's not in this field anymore. Thank goodness. Before that, I job hopped between a handful of big tech companies up to up my salary. Job hopper. The worst thing I... If there's anything you don't want on your resume, it's that, in my opinion, I've worked the same job for almost 10 years now. And I know for a fact it's a uh, a huge plus to have something like that. When you show up every single day for that long... I haven't even taken a vacation in four years. Yeah. So yeah, you, you don't you you want to refrain from having job hopper. Normally, you a lot of times your resume might go in the trash unless you're changing jobs for really good reasons. I mean, of course, you know you can always look at that. But people who just you know job hop mainly for only this reason. Yeah, it's not, it's not a great look because you, you seem ir, ir, uh, unreliable. Like, as soon as you get a different offer, 
you know, they can't put in any much faith. You're less likely to get raises, too, if you job hop, because they're not going to invest a bunch of money into you if they know you're not going to stay long term. Just a, my, you know, my two cents advice. I didn't think that'd be a big deal. I work a strict nine to five, no later. This is a part time job. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. No later. And only have to travel for work a few times a year. Plus, my job is flexible about bringing partners or kids on travel. So, discount vacation? I mean, that's kind of nice. I don't know. I don't take vacations. I think I'm taking a vacation this year, though. That should be nice. I'm absolutely not a workaholic. Not with these hours. You're not? Hell no. I've worked... I've worked... A couple years ago, I was working 120 hours a week. I do, do not recommend it. You may... Oh, hell of money, but nah, no, nah, it's it's not good, not healthy for you guys. Because I I am one of these like clinically workaholic. But yeah, so she's definitely correct, right there. I'm absolutely not a workaholic who'd never be around. But why? I feel like some guys still assume. That because of clients' contracts that I'm working on, what, why is that a question? But I feel like some guys still assume that because of the clients' contract. I guess the m- <clears throat> excuse me. The main way I spend my free time right now is renovating my house. I like DIY and woodworking, and even though I could hire someone, I enjoy learning new skills and getting my hands dirty after sitting on my ass all day. I also do a couple sports. So all all masculine dude shit. This this is probably what turns dudes off. Because rich dudes, or well-off dudes at least, are not looking for a man to date. If they're, I mean, of course, unless they're they're the the non arrow type of people, non non. Uh, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like, I mean, if she, if she just quit her job and submitted, uh, and got a husband, they could learn, they could learn new skills and to enjoy together. That sounds like a much better time than being alone and doing these things on yourself. I mean, of course, she probably, it's probably a cope, you know, because she wants to seem like that strong, independent women's that, uh, Women, for some reason, think men want, and no, it's a lie. I want the absolute opposite, the furthest thing from the strong, independent woman. Unless when that strong, strong, independent woman is in the actual, like, reality, and that is, like, a mother who takes care of the kids and does, teaches school and all these things, you know, the, the feminine, modest, good things. That's attractive to me. I don't give a crap about more money. It just makes life a little bit harder. Because, yes, once you get to a certain level of money, it, it just, uh, it's just so stupid. The taxes and, yeah, not a fan. I don't know. I mean, it's nice, but meh. couldn't really care less. I have been, I have a feeling that's that, but... Oh, hold on. I have a feeling it's that my vibe, very laid back and goofy, and the stuff that's going on in my life, managing millions of dollars of clients' contracts, buying and renovating a house, a few sports, just don't match. Really. I mean, honestly, chicks who manage millions of dollars, that is a lot of stress. I mean, I've seen dudes handle it without blinking an eye, but... A, a chick managing this much, this is, it's not a whole lot of money, but for someone making, like, just low, like, about six figures, a million dollars for one contract is a lot of money. And, like, I've seen chicks break down. Like, dudes are all calm and cool. You know, a big problem happened. Money went places. And, uh, 
Women would lose their minds, break down on the job. Dudes are just sipping their coffee like, we'll fix it. And yeah, women just lose their minds. Yeah, it, it's, it's just, it's unnecessary stress for women to put themselves into these situations when they could just submit to a guy and get married and have kids and stay home and be safe. I just don't understand the lies. Like, why wouldn't a woman want to stay home and be safe? No, I just don't get it. And I'm worried. I'm putting people off because I just seem like I have no time for them or I'm some workaholic or have a stick up my ass. How the heck would you not have time working a nine to five? I currently work 60 hours a week and I make time to waste, kind of like just waste time on doing this. This is literally just a hobby. Like I do this just to improve my, really my reading skills <clears throat> and my uh, public, like, you know, speaking, knowing someone, a lot of people are going to, uh, amount of people are going to see it. You know, just to, you know, just to improve my social, my social ability just a, a little bit. This is, I use this to become a better person. Like, and I do that working six, 60 hours a week, plus racing motocross, plus racing MotoGP. And I still make time for this. Like, how can, how, yeah, excuses. It's just excuses. Yeah. No, no. It's, it, 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 I think the, the true fact is that your standards are too high. You're trying to find that, that millionaire giga chad when you're 27 years old, and he does not give a crap about your money. That doesn't improve who you are. Can you make a nice, good steak? Can you wash the dishes like a muffa? Like, what are your actual values? What do you bring beside money doesn't count if you have enough? A dude has enough money. I don't give a shit if a woman makes six figures. I have enough money. I don't care. Don't need more. Don't don't care about it. I want a 18-year-old, submissive, traditional female who wants to raise my ten kids. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, a little uh, spurg out there. Snapped a little bit, guys. I don't want to make my dating profile look like a damn LinkedIn. Just to put my job out there for the from the start. But I feel like my job and hobbies are the things that make guys lose interest. It always seems to happen when I start talking about them. Or it could be that I can't say much about my day-to-day workday. Other than, sorry, I can't say, signed an NDA. I wonder if that's making me seem closed off, even though I'm open, I'm an open book, I'm, even though I'm open book in every other way, an open book. Do people proofread shit? <clears throat> I mean, I'm not a good, re- good reader, but I at least know grammar, and I can know when something is missing, like a whole ass word, small word, be it that. But a word nonetheless. So, can I get some real advice? Would you... What do you all think it is that that's putting guys off? If it honestly is that I've got the most rancid vibes and come off like a bitch, be honest with me. LOL. TLDR. I keep not getting a next date after telling guys about my work and hobbies. Any advice? Quit your job, stop acting like a man, and submit. Boom. You have no, you have very little time left, but you might be able to salvage what you do have. You got like, I don't know what this chick looks like, but I imagine three years at best, she's smacking that wall hard. And then she's going to be not on dating advice, but on dating over 30. And... That is a really terrible place to be, guys. I went on there just before I found this one. Whew. My goodness, I'm gonna have to cover some of those in a later in a later article or a later video. But I mean, 
Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Yeah, she's talking about how she doesn't have time working nine to five. No, I mean, yeah, shit, like I do this for all positive reasons to help dudes see the travesties that are modern women today. But also I do it a little bit for me. Like, I don't do it for money. I do it to improve my, my speaking skills, which I think is a, a good thing to do. I mean, I think everyone should try this. This is actually quite... I didn't think it would be this difficult, but it, it really is. Like, I mean, I went on live with Chronic the other night, and I freaking was drunk, and I f- almost froze up trying to read it. I could not see. It was bad, guys. And I do... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's bad. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm improving. I'm trying. So... With that, I think I will leave it there. I am Mac the Snapper, and I will see you boys in the next one.